Hello, 大家好 I'm Grace. Today we're going to talk about a special grammar point in Chinese, the ba construction. Many of my students have told me that they don't understand why we use ba, and therefore don't know when to use it. So today, let's figure this out together. First of all, what is the ba construction? As you might know, the basic Chinese word order is subject, verb, object, and the ba construction has a different word order: subject, ba, object, and then verb phrase. Ba was commonly used as a verb meaning to hold, and now it's a function word. You can imagine that ba originally means to hold, and when you hold something, you have control over it and can do something to it. So we use the ba construction to indicate what the subject does to the object, which causes the object to have some change. Also in the ba construction, because the new information is about the object of the sentence, the object is something we want to talk about. So it will be something already familiar to both of us and important in our conversation. For example, let's take a look at the difference between 我吃完饭了 and 我把饭吃完了 When you say 我吃完饭了 we pay attention to the subject and what the subject did. The object, however, is not so important. Let's see an example. Hi, hey, hi. 你吃饭了吗？嗯，我吃完饭了。等一下要去上课。In this conversation, the focus is on talking about what the person did, and there isn't a certain object there that they want to talk about, so we wouldn't use the ba construction. Now let's see when we would say 我把饭吃完了。喂。A few minutes later. 哎，我放在桌上的饭呢？哦、oh, ，我把饭吃完了，不好意思。In this case, the person wanted to talk about what she did to that certain object, and that caused it to be gone. Now, the object is important in their conversation, so ba is used here. So remember, when we focus on what a subject does, we use the S V O structure. However, if we want to focus on what a subject does to a certain object, and also the change that the object undergoes, we use the ba construction. Now let's have a small test. If I ask you, 他做了什么？他做了什么？ How would you respond? A. 他吃了蛋糕。他吃了蛋糕。B. 他把蛋糕吃了。他把蛋糕吃了。The answer is A because we want to focus on what he does. So the conversation could be: He 刚才做了什么？他刚才吃了蛋糕，然后就去睡觉了。Now, if I ask you: 我刚才买的蛋糕呢？我刚才买的蛋糕呢 ？How would you respond? A. 他吃了蛋糕。B. 他把蛋糕吃了。The answer is B because there is a certain object we want to talk about, and we use the ba construction to express what he did to the cake and what happened to it. So the conversation could be: Two hours later, 我刚才买的蛋糕呢？他把蛋糕吃了，所以蛋糕已经没了。Okay, now let's see some common situations where we would use ba. The first one is when we talk about what changes to make to a certain object. For example, 哎，你觉得我应该把杯子放到哪？嗯，把它放在桌上就好了。Here we are talking about making a change in position to the mug, so we use ba. 
When we are moving or decorating a house, we often use the ba construction because we are talking about where to put objects. Let's see some examples. 我们把画挂在门旁边，好吗？我们把画挂在门旁边，好吗 ？Let's hang the painting next to the door, okay? 我想把书桌搬到床的右边。我想把书桌搬到床的右边。I want to move the desk to the right side of the bed. Before moving on, I'd like to spend a little time talking about what you can do if you want to improve your Chinese reading skills and learn Chinese from news, current events, and interesting stories. If you'd like to do so, check out Standard Mandarin Weekly. They offer easy-to-read articles covering various cool topics like trends, life and science, Asian culture, food, etc. They update every Monday, so you will have 15 new articles to read every week. Each article comes with an English introduction, audio recordings. Dada 想和他的好朋友 Kevin 出去打篮球 and a pop up dictionary so you can look words up as you read. They also provide you with a vocabulary list if you want to increase your vocabulary. Also, after I spoke with them from April first, they decided to start providing traditional Chinese versions of each article in addition to the simplified Chinese versions they were already providing. With Standard Mandarin Weekly, you can form a habit of reading and learning something new every week. They are offering me a discount code just for you. Hi Grace, you can use it to get five percent off your subscription. I've put a link in the description below. Other than using the ba construction to talk about what changes to make to a certain object, we can also use the ba construction to ask someone to do something to a certain object. For instance. 你可以把那本书拿给我吗？谢谢。你可以把那本书拿给我吗 ？Could you hand me that book? 记得把药吃了。记得把药吃了。Remember to take the pill. 嗯。可以帮我把灯关了吗？可以帮我把灯关了吗 ？Could you help me turn off the light? In addition, we use the ba construction to talk about what someone did to a certain object and what happened to the object. For example, 弟弟把我的电脑弄坏了。弟弟把我的电脑弄坏了。My brother broke my computer. 我的狗把我的功课吃了。我的狗把我的功课吃了。My dog ate my homework. 我爸爸把家打扫的很干净。我爸爸把家打扫的很干净。My dad made the house very clean. Okay, now let's do a quick recap. When we focus on what a subject is, we use the SVO structure. However, if we focus on what a subject does to a certain object and also the change that the object undergoes, we use the ba construction. We often use the ba construction when we talk about what changes to make to a certain object, ask someone to do something to a certain object, or when we talk about what someone did to a certain object and what happened to it. The ba construction expresses the changes made to the object, so you can say 他把饭吃，我把功课写。Or, 妈妈把家打扫 because they don't express the changes made to the object. So to make them correct, you can say, 他把饭吃完了我把功课写好了妈妈把家打扫干净了 When you want to add negation words like 不 or 没 or auxiliary verbs like 会想
可以 in the sentence put them before the 把 For example, 我没把功课写完 I didn't finish the assignment. Or 你可以把笔拿给我吗 Could you hand me the pen? The ba construction is a special grammar point in Mandarin, so it's gonna take you some time to get used to it. But hopefully, this video helped you have a better understanding of it. I don't want to scare you, but there are some advanced usages of the ba construction. Like you might hear people say, "This joke almost made me laugh." I laughed so hard because of this joke. I put it as my best friend. I see him as my best friend. If you're interested to know why the ba construction is used in these sentences and you want to learn how to use them, please let me know in the comments. Okay, that's all for today. 如果你喜欢今天的影片，别忘记按赞、订阅和分享哦。And also, if you'd like to learn some daily Mandarin expressions, check out my Instagram, Grace Mandarin. 那我们就下次见喽，拜拜。Thank、you